All right, we're not running late. My plan was to get here about this time. I'm fixing to park and walk to the back. I'll be able to walk to the back, sneak back there without carrying a flashlight. It's almost daylight. The feeder don't go off for like another 30 minutes, so I'm gonna change the time and fill up the feeder, but we're gonna go out in Franklin and see if any hogs come in this morning. I can hear hogs in there about 50, 60 yards away, but it's so thick. I'm gonna have to sneak around and hope they come out because the feeder's gonna go off in about 15 minutes. I've been sitting down, but I think they're just in there, just rooting around. I've been waiting here for 10 minutes and they're not coming out in this area, so I'm gonna sneak around and see if we can catch them on the other side of this strip of woods at the feeder. I'm in this box blind. The feeder is 130, 140 yards. Now I heard some hogs and they're coming in. That's why I got in a little later. But there's a couple of cows that are sleeping on the other side of the right of way. So hopefully they don't spook them. Um, the feeder don't go off for another 10 or 15 minutes. So we're gonna sit tight. Hopefully sit about an hour after it goes off and see if any hogs come out. But there's cows were sleeping in the woods, probably 50 yards across the right away where I just saw the, or heard the hogs. You can hear, there's a few of them rooting and uh, some smaller ones grunting. You can hear them grunting, but we're going to sit tight and see if uh, any come out. Hey. Maybe those cows will stay on that side of the field. Those cows just walked off to the left. I wonder if they woke these deer up. There's a feeder over there where we bow hunt. Uh, it's probably 150 yards. 175 maybe. But we'll keep an eye on that corner. There's six does. I believe they're all does. Three of them look pregnant, which is the end of April, so they usually don't start dropping for probably another four to six weeks. But uh, they're kind of creeping this way. So I'm gonna get quiet. They're probably just inside 100 yards. Chasing them off. Thank ah, cows. Those cows are chasing my deer. Look at that. <laughs> Golly. Maybe he'll help me keep cover. Oh, I guess he didn't know I was in here. Goofball. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm about to pack out and move. Go ahead and go fill the feeders up. It's uh, been almost about two hours after daylight. Group. Some young ones. 
Let's see if I can find Mama up there. They're still over there. I see three or four small ones, maybe 15 pound range. I'm gonna see if I can sneak up to this edge. I see a, a little bit bigger one. But I'm gonna see if Mama's up there. Just to show you. So there's my truck. I was standing about 50, 60 yards that way. They were working out this line. Look, I guess I just missed a big group because there's fresh rootings, bunch of hawk tracks. Shoot, there might have been 10 or 15 of them. I guess I just caught the last three or four. And uh, you see, they just walked off. They were, I don't think they're bigger than 20 pounds. I just. I really didn't feel like shooting them unless I could line two up, but I mean you see the fresh tracks They're rooting here. I guess probably the last hour or so I guess since they didn't get to the feeder because of the cows, but you can see where they rooted along And uh, I came to check this other field, but I guess they're long gone now Well now we got a bunch of cloud cover, but this is almost an hour later, 45 minutes later, when I saw those hogs. I unloaded four-wheeler back up, went and filled up feeders. So maybe I can come back out here in a couple of weeks, um, go fishing and try to hog hunt. So, all right, guys.